So, you're on a tight budget, still have an older AGP system, computer. Well, I have a great solution here for you. It's a nice bang for your buck. It'll give you some nice graphics and it'll move you from integrated graphics. So, you can play some of those games at medium to high settings. DirectX 9 level games, of course. It's the Sapphire X1650 Pro. It has um, 512 megabytes of DDR2 dedicated memory, which is really nice. If I remember correctly, yeah, it has 12 pixel pipelines, which is fast for an AGP card. Um, this, com this card does come in the PCI Express flavor, and if you do get that PCI Express version of this card, you can run in Crossfire, meaning you can run two. So that'd be even an even better bang for your buck. So if you do have a PCI Express newer system, I'd recommend getting two PCI Express versions of this Sapphire X1650 Pro, and you'll definitely get a lot better performance. But AGP, you can't run Crossfire. But it has HD display connectivity with Avivo, Avivo HD. So that's really nice, you know, if you're someone who likes watching HD video content and, you know, you're experiencing all kinds of skips and it's very unsmooth, well, this Sapphire X1650 will clean it up. It'll give you a nice, you know, it'll smooth things out, make things look nicer. It is certified for Windows Vista, so don't worry if you have Vista. This the drivers for this card will work on Vista. Um, what else does this card have? Well, let's show you what's in the box. It has your component adapter, so you can plug this on the back of your graphics card. If you look on the back, it has an S video uh, slot. You just plug that in there, and if you have an HD TV, you plug this in your HD TV, and you'll be you can you know watch content at HD on your TV. And um, this, you know, if you have an older monitor that doesn't have DVI, then what you do is you can convert one of the DVI dual links on the back of the card to VGA. So you just plug this into the DVI port and it'll convert it to a VGA for older standard VGA monitors. So that's nice. And this um, this is for composite you know if your VCR doesn't uh, have an S video on it that's composite you can convert the S video to the back of the VCR to composite instead of you know so you don't have to worry about the S video features of things that's really nice I mean that's about it you know it has the instruction booklet in here and that's pretty much it so I would recommending recommend getting this card for your computer